Namaskaram. I am Mrs. Padmini Gunasilan. I am a dancing and music teacher um, for 35 years. I have been teaching here in London 25 years. I was teaching in Sri Lanka for 10 years. And um, I am based in Walthamstow since I came to London. Uh, still, I have classes in Walthamstow. I am teaching to Waltham Forest Tamil School on Saturdays and East Ham Sri Murugan Temple on Sundays and Essex Tamil Society on Fridays. My main classes are based on Waltham store. On Saturdays I am teaching in, the, in a hall, church hall and uh, sometimes in the evening times I am teaching music at home and if it's a special classes or special event comes, so I do teach individual or group lessons at home every day. And uh, I have done Arangetams, 24 students since I came here. The first Arangetam was in 1989. And uh, who done the Arangetams? Anusha Varadalingam then. And she says, teach herself in London at the moment. And uh, I have privilege to teach one English uh, woman, Susanna Harrington, um, and she done the Arangetam in 1996, and she has been teacher since then uh, in Essex. Um, few other students I have, they are also teachers themselves, uh, teaching in London, um, and they are doing some other professions. And also I have done my daughter Saranka, uh, her Arangetam in 19, 2005, and she's also helping me and assist me all the time. And she's also a teacher and assisting me with me on Saturdays and Sundays. Do you want to talk about your school? My school, <laughs> school is uh, Nathana Kalalia. Nathana Kalalia started in 1985. Uh, we are going to have the 25th year of uh, annual ceremony in this year, December 3rd, in Walthams Assembly Hall. I am hoping um, the students, about 150 students are participating and uh, and also I have all my Arangetan students participating, 24 of them uh, this year. I hope they will all participate and also I am going to have a <coughs> dance drama. Uh, about 50 to 60 students will participate in the dance drama. This uh, lasts about uh, 40 to 45 minutes. And, uh, my 25th Arangetam will be next year, the October 29th. We have booked the hall. 2011. We have booked the hall in Lewisham Theatre. Um, she works very hard. <laughs> <laughs> very committed teacher. Hello, I'm Susanna, and I think I am Pathmini's only. Caucasian student who has done her having get you. Um, I run my own dance school as well now called Natia East and um, I have about 25 students who come um, to me similar to Path Mini either private tuition or they um, come to a morning class on a Saturday. So I did my own get in 1996. It was um, a terrifying experience <laughs> but wonderful um, and it was a platform so that I could then be um, accepted in the Asian community as a dancer. Um, I'm married and I have two children and we live out in um, East Anglia um, which is on the Essex Suffolk border and I'm lucky because I have a dance studio in my premises so I can have classes there as well. Um, and memories of my Aaron Getchroom. There are lots of them, aren't they, which I'm sure we'll share later. Um, but one, just before Sanka um, speaks, is that uh, my husband is an artist and he did a lovely picture, I don't know if you remember, of yeah, yeah. the lotus. And so there's this lovely, like, Van Gogh lotus picture right at the back of the hall, wasn't there? And so that's um, a short memory <laughs> of my Aaron Getchroom. Do you want he to actually say? does a lot of art, doesn't he? Yeah, he does a lot mm -hmm. of art, but that was so nice to include at visual art as, as well as the performing art that I was doing. Do you want to say about you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Saran Koganisilin. I am Padme teacher's daughter. Um, I've been learning since, I don't know, since, <laughs> since five years. Yeah, since five probably, but I've always, since I was a baby, I've been watching my mum teach and that's just gotten into my head as well. 
and um, even the items that I haven't learned, I actually know because I've seen it and heard mm. it and I can actually sing them off as well because I just know them so well. Um, I done my Angetum in 2005, October. That was a really rigorous kind of experience mm. because a lot was expected of me. Mm. Um, yeah, everyone just wanted it to be perfect. I was doing. I was applying for my university at the time as well, so um, yeah, that was really hard. But it was very enjoyable at the same time because it helped me get more into dance, and I started mm. to enjoy it a lot more. Even the Varanam piece, which is like half an hour usually, yeah. I I really that was my favorite piece. I loved yes. Varanam. Yeah, I like Varnums yeah. as well because you've warmed up for the other items and the Varnum you sustain it but there are the parts where you do the you know the abinaya and so it's really it's a nice yeah. dance to do it's and really hard but yeah it's, it's hard really work nice. and at the end of it you think oh, i could keep going on now yeah. but the audience are probably tired then aren't they <laughs> it's the masterpiece yeah it is yeah. the masterpiece yeah and it's really important but her engagement was wonderful because yeah a lot of pressure because teachers daughter <laughs> so everybody came everybody has high but it was great and her personality came out really well, which is lovely. So it wasn't just the dancing. I had early morning practices. You did really well. You had a cold, didn't you? Yeah, I had didn't a you? fever. Yeah, you I was had on a fever. antibiotics. But, <laughs> yeah. but you did really well. It was a very good one. How yeah. did you get into South Asian dance? I got into South Asian dance because um, I'd gone to India because my grandmother had lived out in India in the time of Gandhi and she used to tell me stories about the annoying man Gandhi and how he was spoiling all their fun and um, so it was my grandmother's sort of inspiration and then I went to India and looked at the dance and I had already been working in the UK doing creative dance for adults with learning disabilities and so I already had a dance sort of base but that was in ballet and modern dance and so when I went to India I was able to look at the dance there and but it was my grandmother who influenced me mainly so without her I, I wouldn't be here today and I would never have predicted <laughs> that I would end up as a, as, as a white <laughs> yes Indian dancer. Whereabouts in India did you go to? Um, we went to Madurai which is right down the bottom, much Madurai. lower than Chennai. I haven't been. And, and India, Madurai. Yeah, but it's lovely. I mean, very busy. So many pilgrims there so every big day. Temple. Yeah, big temple. Minakshi, Minakshi temple. Um, there are lots of pilgrims there. But it's a, it was a good place to start my, my study. But when I came back after two years of being out in India, um, then I needed to find a teacher. So I found uh, a directory. It wasn't... I can't remember what the organisation was then, um, but it was a directory of dance teachers and Pathmini's name was in there. And so I phoned her up and I came for <laughs> an interview, didn't I? So I showed you what I knew. And, and it was a different style, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know if you remember, yeah. it was a different it style. Was, yeah. And so I just sort of thought... What style of dance did you learn? I don't know, I don't know what one well, that she was. She learned from Madhuda for one or two months, isn't it? Yeah. Something different dance, I yes, don't know. Yes. Actually, actually, you didn't know any basic by that time, you no. just you learned one or two yes, dances. Yes, I learned, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Without learning the basics, she learned one or two dances from India and came to show me the entirely different. Mm. Yeah. So what did you feel when Susanna came to you? <laughs> So I thought, uh, very interesting, because I say English lady is coming to learn from me. Uh, from uh, very far, it is Essex, it's very far from to, from Walthamster. So I, I thought whether she will come regularly, or, but she's very determined and she came very regularly. Every week, two days, two hours lessons you came, mm -hmm. isn't it, for the mm -hmm. Nagita? Then very encouraging student. <laughs> Did you learn any Tamil? Um, oh no, Tamil, ta yes, Kundjum. Yeah. You can probably understand what we're saying. Uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, they rub it on. And I, yeah, so yeah, Kundjum of Tamil. Um, Kundjum. Yes, yeah. but it's, uh, that's a very hard language, isn't it? How many letters is it? 200 and something yeah. characters? Yeah. You know, we only have 26 in our language, and that's too many. <laughs> so I understand the language of the dance, and I can recite all, the, all yeah. that I need to as a teacher, but I don't speak Tamil. Um, dance is the language. But, but I know the dance <laughs> language and, and I can recite and do all the Tala for my students and, and sing for them but not the, uh, not, not just having a conversation with 
So you know the words of the songs? Yeah, well, you have to because you're um, only dramatizing you're... them. Mm. So, yeah, you have to know them then you can do thoroughly. That, you know, if you know the meaning, only you, you can portray that yeah. inner feelings to the character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yes, you have to know it. So, for me, it was hard because I just had to really learn well, it. She done the Baba <laughs> expression, is very good. She has more expression than the normal children of ours. Really? Yeah. When she, when she, she was really doing the Arangetram, the people were very appreciated to hear about her expressions. So this is very important. Because even important. Tamil children or Indian children, they won't do it as well as Anna can. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's because of age, because I started yeah, training. But when still, I, yeah. still yeah. Some, some students, they, go, they won't be able to, even they have age. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I still, I, you know, dancers, I think, mature in, in the classical Indian styles and they're allowed to mature and they're even, and they're gained, they gain a reputation as they get older because they can express their life experiences, which is wonderful because in our dances in the UK, a dancer, you know, a classically trained ballet dancer retires at 30, yeah. which is such a shame. Yeah. But, but they don't have any expression to give yeah. through but their Indian style. Dancers, Indian dancers when go 50, on, they're really not. Uh, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to still be one. But you're a musician as well? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, she I learned, learned music, music. And violin. violin. Vocal music, violin, piano. <laughs> yeah, so Western and Eastern, but mainly concentrating on the Eastern. So the Carnatic violin? Yeah, Carnatic, yeah. yeah. Carnatic violin and vocal and dancing. Yeah. And your mum taught you that? Um, a vocal and uh, uh, dancing I taught her, vocal and also she had the further training with Kuttalam Nagarajan. And violin is a Mrs. Kalevani Indra Kumar, based in, in England. Hello. <laughs> and do you perform now? Um, yeah. yeah, I've given a bit of a break at the moment because of university, but yeah, I do perform. So after mm. university, will you continue to perform? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's kind of a part of me, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Music good. and dancing, part of your life. <laughs> yes, <laughs> part of my life, so yes. I have to perform. <laughs> she hasn't been able to get away from it, because every day in this house, there are classes <laughs> either classes. singing or dancing, aren't there? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Do you do any performing? No. No. Singing? Singing sometimes I do. When, mm -hmm. when we go on the stage for the dancing purposes, I do sing. Uh, sometimes I uh, uh, ask someone else to sing for the dancing. With the Arangitam, definitely I will ask someone because it's a three hours program. It's a half an hour program of 45 minutes. I don't mind to sing and do the Natuanga for the dancing. Uh, I went to stop? India to uh, learn, you know, to, to join the university, um, Queen Mary's University. And my father wanted me to study vocal music. So he put me in the music college, Madras. Then one year, two years later, then when I, when, I, when I came to Sri Lanka, my school teachers, they were asking. When I was in school, I was a good dancer. They were telling my father to, why can't you put her in the dancing class as well? Please put her in the dancing group. Mm -hmm. So again, I, when I went to India again to learn dancing as well by the time. And Veena. Uh, and Veena, Veena. I done my Sangeeta with one title, Vocal Main and uh, Veena yeah. Sapsari. And then uh, dancing Bhatanati Mandadi Ar Lakshman <coughs> in Bharata Chudamani. So I was there yeah, about five, five and a half years in India to learn both music and dancing. But you first yeah. um, done mainly, you went for Vocal. music, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yes, that was your first And then thing, she changed it? over to dance. Why did you change over to dance? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> See, I, I done both because I, my, uh, I wanted to learn dancing as well. My teachers, they were telling to learn dance as well. So I did both. And I came to Sri Lanka and I played for the teaching. I selected for both. And uh, the director said, no, you can't go for both. You can do one <laughs> only. So which one you want to put, uh, select? So I said... Uh, Oh, if I select the dancing, I can do both, uh, mm. do both music and dancing vocal. If I select yes. the vocal, I will forget the dancing. Yeah. So I thought of yeah. having the dancing main. Yeah. And without her, mm -hmm. without your knowledge of the music, I wouldn't have been able to do my own getrum, really, because mm -hmm. I sort of came to Path Biddy saying, I really want to learn your, your classical style, but I'd like to do it as somebody with faith as well. And so I want to be able to do it on a Christian theme, which I know it's not done, it's done on Hindu themes. So without Pathmini's knowledge of music and her knowledge 
of people who could actually produce the music for me, I wouldn't have been able to do it, would I? Because I, yeah. my Varnum was a Christian Varnum, and so that didn't exist. <laughs> so yeah. without that, I wouldn't have been able to. So that's very interesting because obviously the basis of the engagement is yes. Hindu. Yes, that's right. And Hindu, the Hindu faith. Mm, yes. So how does that equate with yours? Well, with my Aaron Getram, I um I tried to completely keep the format, didn't yeah. I? So I got a priest, that, yeah. but Pathmini graciously allowed me to have a Christian priest. And so we had mm. the priest, didn't we? We had the prayers. Oh, the puja. Yeah, we had the puja. So mm. it was exactly the same yeah. format. Just I was just worshipping a different god. So, it, you know, it was that. It's the same. Even yeah. the repertoire you kept. Yeah, I, I kept mm. exactly the, the normal format. So we had but like we push adapted, one, yeah, mm. yeah, and a Lari puja, the, the Getty song, song of Arnhem. Yeah. 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 But then what about the characters like, sorry, the gods like Ganesha and Shiva? How does that equate? Well, in, well in, in the pieces that I did, I, I did. didn't, I, the lyrics again were on the theme of Jesus, so Jesus, they weren't yeah. actually, that, so that's why we were saying we needed to understand the language of dance to be able to do justice to the items. And so I'd give Pathmini teacher the text from the Holy Bible, she would so then, story, yeah, yeah, she would then set Raga and the Vitala, and then from that we could cr create music. Mm. Yeah, because so, items are usually based on, Hindu say things. for example, a god, god yeah. Shiva, and you bring out a story, because they have loads of historical stories and stuff, how he got married to his wife, and how he got rid of demons or whatever, mm. so we just, my, my mom and Susanna just done the same thing, but with Jesus, so how he would have healed, or yeah, that's right. Like that. Yeah, that's right. So. What about the movements? Uh, well, it's about the it, it was a classical Bharatanatyam performance, but it's just the mudras. Um, yeah. Lyrics only, yeah. only yes. the lyrics yeah. only, the Christian theme. But then you had a starting point, surely, of Shiva. Um, well, again, yeah, I did, but also because Christians say that um, Jesus is the Lord of the dance, mm. as you would say Shiva is the Lord of the dance. So it's again the cosmic dance. So it was easy to be able to, you know, completely take that on as well. And what about your costume? Um, it's a classical Badanatyam yeah, costume. Yeah, absolutely, same. yes, same. Same as usual. Yeah, yeah, I love wearing sari. Because the costume sorry, doesn't yeah. really have anything to do with the Hindu. Or the, no. It doesn't it, have anything to do with the religion, really. No, it's like you're dressed up, though, as yeah. a bride, isn't it? Because traditionally yeah. it comes from the temple and you'd be married to the temple yeah. you know, god. And so you're dressed in your most beautiful so you know lots of different colours and you chose colours mm. as well didn't you because we went to India and, yeah. and, and chose mm -hmm. colours for me and any, so I had the saris made. Any particular significance in the colours you chose? Now, some of the dancers, it's a pure dance, he wanted to have the white um, mm. uh, with purple borders isn't yes, it? Yes that's right, well yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. White with purple borders. I also wear, was wearing that uh, white with off white with purple border sari to match yeah. your. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Can so I remember yeah, that? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do usually match. You yeah, match with the students. The student. One of yeah. one of the costumes will match with my sari. It's mm. usually the ending. End or starting, whatever. No, I didn't know you did. That. I have <laughs> two other students. They were doing Christian theme in their angel drums. Not the fully one or two items. They done the Christian. Oh, yeah, so they are all Christian. Catholic and Christian. So I done for, for to benefit their parents and to, to satisfy them and to, you know, they are also Christians. They also have different God they have. We have to respect adapt. and adapt some. We are in the 21st century at the moment anyway. We have to adapt something new for us. But, but, you know, a huge respect for my teacher. <laughs> because without her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be you know, a performer now, because that, that's what I do. I'm classically, you know, <laughs> you know trained um, Bharatanatyam performer, that, you know. But without Pathmini, I wouldn't be able to do that. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And are you Hindu? Um, yeah. yeah. My mum's Hindu, my dad's Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so, so again, that was really interesting for me and a help. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So you have statues of, like, Shiva, Lord Shiva, on stage in the yeah yeah but what did, what you, did have? you have i didn't did i oh i had this oh, as i said right at the beginning i had the um lotus lo lotus um, didn't really i have statues i didn't have she statues. doesn't believe in statues yeah yeah that's yeah, right so we had the lotus statues, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how so how do you impart this kind of cross-fertilization to your students 
Um, respect, I think that's the key word, I respect where, they're, where they are and their faith and, and they respect me and so I teach them the pure Bhartanatyam. When it comes to doing items, um, at the moment I'm still doing more general, I, I'm doing the Laripu and the Jeti Swaram. I have a lovely Christian Shabdam, um, but again some of my students will want to do um, the, 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 the traditional Shabdam yeah. on Fingers. Krishna. Yeah. And yeah. so um, I have one of those from Pathmini teacher as well. And also, just like Pathmini's um, students, they'll, mine will go to India and do some training there and come back and bring back new items and things. And so, you know, I allow them to go to other places to get other items so that, you know, it's not just me that's influenced and they will get a wider influence as well. So with teaching, do you teach the little children or do you teach the adults? Um, we don't have adults as such, but um, yeah, I, I teach both. I usually teach the little ones, so grade one, grade two. Grade three. Yeah, grade three. But um, <coughs> when my mom's not available, I will teach the grade five, grade six as well. So, yeah. And are they all South Asian? Um, yeah, they are, yeah, aren't they? they are. Yeah, they are. They're all South Asian at the moment. Mostly, 99%. But you have yeah. taught um, other English students before yeah, yeah, in Yorkshire. Yeah. Yorkshire, yeah. I was teaching in Yorkshire as well. This Kanto. Yeah. Every fun. every holiday we used every to go. Holidays. One mm. every once in two months I used to go. Or oh, half term holiday we have a workshop over there. I do teach them. They have finished their six grades so over from there. Yeah. yeah. I remember you doing that. Mm. Yeah. Why why is there teaching in Skanto for places? Because they were asking me to come over there and um, teach the uh, classical dance to the children in Skantopo. And Bradford I was teaching. Yeah. So are these South Asian associations? Um, yeah, they Based were, on, but yeah. we did have English students, the English and students as North well, Indians and, and different, different And cultures. in the schools also. Even here I was teaching in the oh, schools yeah. also. Yeah. The Newham uh, Academy organized for us. I was teaching mm -hmm. all, all over Newham schools. You're doing workshops Workshops and assembly uh, dancing sometimes in that as well what she does in the school side. Yeah, that's so yeah. I stopped at the moment. <laughs> so during assembly, you would, you, she mm. would show, be this your is, show a dance or something. Yeah, a, a ball a, dance. There's a ball dance. <laughs> yes. so and I was thinking, dance. was it a special ball or something? Was it a, you know, but it's like, no, it's a ball. Oh, a ball. <laughs> right, okay. So it's a ball dance. <laughs> it used to do, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so throwing the ball and catching, you feel that when you catch, you have to, do, yeah. you know, when yeah. bend and catch the ball, it's just coming in your hand. Something like that I have to express the children. <laughs> and they do, yeah, and boys and girls. And they will come and join, won't mm, they? Boys and girls, they will do in the schools, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I do now. I work as a multicultural artist in schools, in key stage one, two and three. Okay. And I do the assemblies, <laughs> but I do it on how to how a South Asian would get ready for a festival. Okay. So I make it generic, it could be any festival, but they do the uh, Rangoni oh, design, yeah, yeah. you know, how they put their sari oh, yeah. on and sure. how they do their hair. Oh. And so I perform that and I also perform a poem called The Hunter, which is about a hunter and a tiger. And so that engages the boys immediately. And so <laughs> I become this tiger. And, do you get and a lot of response for what you do? Oh, they absolutely love it. Okay. Absolutely love it. Look, English yeah. woman is teaching, Indian teaching. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they love that. <laughs> what form of dance did you learn when you went to Sri Lanka? Was it just Bhatanatya? Bhatanatya. You didn't learn any um, other in Sri Lankan? <laughs> Bhatanatya. <laughs> but you used it, adapted it. Yeah, but folk dances we adapted with something else here. Yeah. Different themes. The, different themes we make it. And uh, folk styles also we adapt. Folk dances we can make it. It is a choreography, isn't it? So, so where do you want to go from now, from here? After you <laughs> celebrated your 25 years, what do you see in the future? I, I wanted to write a book about Bhadanatyam. Still in my mind, I couldn't do you know, because of the time commitments. I don't want to do it just as it is, you know, just a book. I don't want to uh, do perfect books. Research, I, research yeah. more and write a book, really, 
know, it's an, in, a, in a good way. So I couldn't do it. So it's, it's in my mm. mind and I am worried about that. And oh, also, I, to do <laughs> and also <laughs> I want to do a video about my, you know, one dance drama or dancing. Um, DVD. DVD. Mm. Yeah, because you have a very good reputation, don't yeah. you, for your dance dramas. So Pathani's yeah. known, for her, well known for her dance dramas. Yeah. So it would be really good to, as a resource to get those on a DVD, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> some of them. Yeah, no, I couldn't do it for this 25th year. I will do in the future, definitely. One I'm sure you could, because you've got <coughs> videos of your past performances. Maybe moment. you could put them all together. And but uh, on that day, you can yeah. uh, exhibit some of them. But you can't do the DVD because of the technology have improved at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I have started here. In the 90s first and 80s. Yeah. Uh, yeah, first dance drama was, little dance drama was 86, I think, very little one. Then the, the huge one we done is for one hour is 1990. Then onwards, about more than 25 dance dramas I have done, contemporary mm -hmm. and that uh, historical and um, what theme of um, pranic stories. And we, we, even did, we even did um, Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. Oh, yeah. yes, we did. It's very interesting. <laughs> I done the it's Shakespeare Twelfth Night. Yeah. That so, was really so, good. Yeah. <laughs> I really it want to do that paper. again. Yeah. It was on the paper, price <coughs> by the paper, isn't it? Yes. Guardian. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And what did you do in terms of the music? How did you get it composed, especially for it, the Twelfth Night? For yeah, Twelfth Night, um, lyrics was written, in, in, it was in Tamil, of course, mm. written by Mrs. Sivagunam. And the music was composed by Yogi Swam. Yes, that's time. right. Yes, yeah. yeah. It was 1999. Yeah, I, I've, I've got that. Yeah. Uh, I've got the music, and uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, he did it. And the again, we reduced that uh, timing yes. and yeah, um, precise that thing, and uh, composed for Susanna for 15 minutes. 15 yes, so 15 I, I, minutes. I have yeah. it as a solo item. Yeah. So yes, for the, the whole of twelfth night in 15 minutes. Yeah, we made it for her. That's for your yeah. record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't tell the whole story. <laughs> But uh, you use the narrative aspects in the um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. We have yeah. a narrator yes. who yeah. comes and tells a story and then yeah. the scene characters is there come. and then yeah. the characters come, come in. And yeah. It was really good. Yeah. So which dance dramas have you danced in? Wow. Um, <coughs> I've done quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I've done Twelfth Night. Yeah. <laughs> I was quite young. Yeah. Um, I've done the Kusela one. One, yeah. It's basically Lord Krishna and he has a poor friend who's got 27 kids. <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> and yeah, hmm. I done that drama. Then Pashmasra um, Pashmasra means, you know, that Lord Shiva and my mother comes and that we were at Devendra, Indra. I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> the last year he has yes, done hmm. the Kuravanji, 2008. Hmm. And she was the main character. Oh yeah, I was... Heroine. I was, yeah, the heroine, yeah. So <laughs> what's going to be in the performance on the 3rd of December? So, so Prabhanja Leela. Prabhanja Leela means, you know, with the, with the nine planets and with five elements. For the, from the five elements, the main thing is God, Shiva and Parvati. From that uh, God, Shiva and Parvati, the five elements comes. From that five elements, five different God, Shivas and Parvati comes. Yeah, then the the world is creating. So it's uh, basically the genesis of the Bible, uh, yeah. a Hindu yeah, version. A Hindu version, yeah. 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 With it's nine a planets. <laughs> it's a very different story. Whoever, I think... Uh, I don't think anyone else Anyone has done else it. done before. It's the first time we are going to do an experiment for me as it's well. It's historical and So Pulavar Sivanathan is, is writing the lyrics and everything right. for me, yeah. I have done that um, recording in India. It's full team. set, we just need yeah. to teach the students. <laughs> Only the yeah, I was going to say, we, we just don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's everything comes one and a half minutes, two minutes, something like that comes and goes. Oh, yeah. exactly. And the five right. elements, means, you know, as a, uh, if it's a fire comes, uh, five or six yeah. students will come and dance for fire. Mm. Okay. And like water. that, oh, water. Okay. And okay. yeah, by then <laughs> yeah. they come, five yes. elements. Okay. And um, in the forest, animals and birds, and yeah. they will come. Yeah. Like yeah. That. So you okay. can you, you can use all your ages then and all experiences that's, that's quite easy, can't said, you? That's why she said we need about 50, 60 <coughs> students yeah. because yeah. even for example for five, if you need five, yeah. Yeah. then there's five elements. You need about yeah. twenty-five. Students. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are you going to be involved? In yes, the definitely. Yeah, yeah, yes, we, we have been before. <laughs> yeah, we are going to be involved, aren't we? Last annual show, you came and I did. I came and did it. on her own. Yes. And One it was very there. well received. Yeah. Yes. 
because um, <laughs> some of the I mean there are loads of students and their parents who didn't know about Suzanne before so they're just like wow an English lady's dancing <laughs> they, were, they were all quiet weren't they and yeah. then my mum my mom was using her as an example <laughs> see look how she could do it why can't you guys do it <laughs> so why this age she's still yeah. continuing and teaching right. the art of ours and why can't these children they are they click it laziness as well <laughs> yes I think I'm used to beat over <laughs> Yes, <laughs> they probably don't want to hear my name, do they? <laughs> what else are they doing on the third? All the other students? Other students are there doing their you know, usual group items, dances. group dances mm. and folk dances. And you want to do one with all your Arangitam students? Arangitam students, one item. And that should be interesting to see who comes. Yeah, I hope all the students will come, one, except one or two. We got students from 1989, 91. Yeah, some of them are married with children, two, three children. Mm. <laughs> Still, they, some of them they wanted to do. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I think true. most Though of the young students are married. Yeah. Yeah. The reality of then actually doing it and getting back their fitness, because yeah. lots of them don't actually still do the dance, so yeah. it will be quite interesting for them, won't it? It will give them opportunity. You know, for me, when I did my Alan Getcher room, when I was practicing, I was in here, wasn't I? Yeah. In this room here, and there was a blue carpet, <laughs> which I remember, which I remember, I should imagine many students <laughs> remember fondly. And I used to stand very loud to see yes, them. Yes, you did. And Papini's very kind husband used to say, "Oh yes, she <laughs> stamps very hard." <laughs> and um, but it's all been redone, hasn't yeah. it? And so quite recently, within this last year, two thousand ten. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, now they, new, and now yeah. they, my mum teaches dance and music in the new studio. <laughs> <laughs> you see how uh, I teach dance and music at the moment, and uh, Saturday's uh, the whole schedule. And how do you find it teaching Pathmini in respect of the floor? Being out, no, not just the floor. I know, I mean, this is, I'm used to floors like this in, in India yeah, because yeah. they're concrete, yeah. whereas only in, in the UK do we have nice wood and floors. But in culturally, in Sri Lanka and then coming here, how different was it to actually engage with the students because they wouldn't be able to commit in the way that they did in Sri Lanka? Of course, Lanka, as you said, yeah. It is a challenging for me. I know the students as well and the parents as well, of course. Um, you know, in Sri Lanka or India, the teacher, what the teacher says, they take as it is and they follow what it is. And here, sometimes if you ask the child to come and dance on this floor, teacher, I have pain in my leg, I can't stand harder, and this, something like that. If it is a carpet, of course, they will love to do it on the carpet. And now they say, of course, they do say. Yeah. And also, even you know, the parents. even the parents, yeah, of course, yeah. You know, my daughter always telling teacher, she has pain in her leg, she can <laughs> continue sometimes, and they can't practice at home, something like that, they do say, of course, yeah. And, um, you know, when I came to England, um, I didn't think that time would be like this because I didn't dancing. think about the dancing school or dancing students, so much students I will have. Um, I had only two students when I came to this country, only two students, that's also Sri Lankan students. Then gradually it improved after Sri Lankans came to this country and India. Yes, after your first time? Yeah, yeah, after my first time I got a few students. Then, at the moment, um, you know, including you and everyone, uh, about 250 students I have. Mm. So, about 100 students, they come very regularly, and the mm. 50, of course, they come and go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they have the um, yeah. program. But if, comes, if you were in Sri Lanka, you wouldn't have had 250 students. Because I, when I went to India last year, I was quite shocked how the teachers there were impressed that I had 25 students. Because they don't have that many. Because there are so many dance teachers yeah. that you only have a few students each. So for yeah. you, yeah, you have one. You know, you, you have many because of your location. Not only the location. So when, when you are very famous or not, also they will come to you to learn. Yes, reputation. The parents of the teachers, yeah. they do. Parents of the students, they do like the teacher who is the kind <laughs> and you know. Who is Doesn't capable. shout. <laughs> <laughs> Everything inclusive. Some <laughs> students, they like me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
you have more opportunities for performance, or is that not true? I'm not, not that true. That's not true. Uh, here you can find more. Really? Yeah, now that's interesting. See. Now that perhaps will be interesting to to talk about. And also uh, because students, they will get less opportunity to perform in India or Sri Lanka because once you perfect that art, only they will go on the stage. In this country, once you start to learn, after a few weeks or a few months, then the parents will come and ask you when our my child is going to be perform on the stage. Mm -hmm. and we have to prepare for that, of course, it's difficult. E even for one year, the child has started to learn. I do take them to the stage. When the annual program comes, we have to take all of the students to the stage. But you yourself, as a performer, did you find a different opportunities in England? Yeah, uh, here, England? here of, of course, we have a lot of opportunities to perform on the stage. For Kathleen, yeah. when she was here, she was married and uh, it was a family and focusing on being a teacher rather than a performer. Mm. Is that yeah. right? Of course, so, yeah. so that's I don't strength. perform here. As I said before, I do perform on the stage um, once or twice when I came to England. And um, when the school, I go to teach the assembly, then I do perform. Uh, otherwise, I don't do performance. I do mostly teaching. And also I am married with uh, three children and my husband is always supporting me to uh, do my career all the time he's supporting and my children as well of course otherwise <laughs> I wouldn't be like this uh, all the time I'm taking classes in the house they are um, We're supporting, tolerating, tolerating, yeah. and, <laughs> so, yeah. supporting and tolerating of course yeah. Uh, yeah. and my daughter only done Darangita mother two sons my first one, my daughter then two sons they also done the dancing when they were small. Now they give up. <laughs> mm. and, and, and I and I do my classes in the house, and I have a, a reporter coming next week who um, is a cultural event out in Essex, and um, they were being interviewed on BBC Essex, and they said, "Oh, oh it would be nice to come." and um, interview me. So they're going to interview me, but the reporter wants to do the class. So it'd be quite interesting to see how that works on the radio, oh, and yeah. what happens next week. And I've so I told him to bring his tracksuit and we'll and see what happens. And also we are also having exams in Bhattaratiam. Mm -hmm. um, it is um, organised by Academy of Fine Arts London. I am conducting the dance exams. The I am the chief exam. examiner for the dance exams. Um, last, uh, about, uh, since 1990 we are doing the exams uh, up to the teacher's grade. Then this exam board is recognised by the University of Madras recently, three, four years back. And after you finish your uh, diploma here, you can take the, if you have any other degrees in, from L London, you can do the master's degree from the mm. Madras University. And your, your students who are also teachers, their yeah. students come for that exam yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. So mm. I said her students are going to be coming yeah. next year. And my students are teaching. You've got two or three? Four students four. are teaching at the moment. They are sending their children. I have 10 or 15 students teaching of my students are teaching as teachers and three or four students teachers uh, students are coming for the exams and next year Susanna students will come. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I have some students who would like, I have one in particular who would like to do an hour and get to and she has she wants lots them. of potential so it's like okay let's go through your grades <laughs> then we'll do it, let's do it the right way. Um, <laughs>